good morning guys it is early very very early it is 6 45 in the morning and today is the first day of yule so it is winter solstice i am making right now gonna be making some biscuits and gravy for yule but i wanted to say good morning to you guys while i am here yes i'm still in my pajamas because it's too early <gasps> hi puppy you say hi say it's morning <gasps> it's morning time yeah. Mia. Yeah. <gasps> There's that dot. There's that dot. There's puppy. You guys excited? They just want to go potty. Yep. And there's the hubby out there, the kiddo. Not looking so happy. Oh, there's a wave. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, guys. Crazy animals this morning. <coughs> Puppy, you gotta wait till later. You get 12 days of pleasance. You gotta wait. <coughs> He's like, no, I don't wanna wait. So now I'm gonna make some um, gluten free biscuits. So I got some baking powder, some Crisco, some this quick, and some gluten-free flour so and the only thing I'm missing is an egg and some milk so I'm going to do this now while I'm cooking up the sausage gravy sorry about the lighting guys but it, like I said it's early so so but traditionally on the day of Yule you make biscuits so that's why I am making biscuits and we're gonna have the sausage gravy to go on top of it it sounds yummy so biscuits are made I just need to put a little bit of um milk on the top of them and this is still frying so we'll keep going for buddy morning hi buddy hi buddy hi dad it's a good morning for you good morning so i'm still making the gravy i'm just waiting for it to thicken up So I can add the sausage in, and I'm waiting for our premier hell to get on his live chat while I'm cooking this morning. So, but this is gonna take a while, and the biscuits are inside the oven cooking. So that's pretty much all going on here still. Just Doki's playing, and there's Mia. Hi guys. We still have one more doggy outside. She is going potty. There's Oni. There's pretty, pretty Onyx. You pretty girl? Huh, oh, you pretty girl? Yeah? Hi, pretty girl. So, it's still <laughs> trying to thicken up. But I put the sausage back in it. This stuff takes forever to thicken up but it's so good I think this is my favorite thing to eat in the whole world so and they're all done yummy yummy Look what finally came in the mail. Yep, you know what? I was part of those 10%, 10%! Mia, that's Mamba's box. And that one's just foundation. No, concealer, concealer, not foundation. Mia, get off my box, move. <laughs> get off the box. Mia, get. <gasps> I'm so excited. I know this is all like old news for you guys. Very, very old news. See if I can cut this box open. Mia, move. What's in the box? Paper. Oh, mystery boxes. It's a about time. Oh my gosh, look at the cat. Mia! <gasps> hey 
guys, so I just opened up my Jeffree Star boxes. I wasn't going to post anything about them because you guys have seen them all like a thousand times. So I did get the sweatshirt, which is right here. And I got the Blue Blood palette, which I already do have. But I'm a little upset with this box, and I'm not. I ended up getting all three tiers. So, but like I didn't get the peppermint you know, the peppermint frost palette. Instead, I got brain freeze, which is kind of weird. And I got, instead of getting thirsty, I got this palette. And then I end up getting, this is in Her Goddess, if I can get to focus. This is Goddess here. This is that liquid, liquid frost highlighter. I end up getting two glosses right here. One is in the shade Control Freak and then her glossiness. So they're really pretty shades. And then I got three packs of stickers. This dumbfounds me. I actually got, you know, stuff from um, the Shane Dawson collab, which is, this is Diet Shane. Man, this camera doesn't like to focus too well. Right there. And then I didn't get the Christmas straw, but instead I got a four pack of straws too. And then I got Cherry Wet, Queen Supreme right here. And then I got two of the holiday mystery shades. There's one and then there's two. Instead of getting that peppermint frost palette and this is what I bought myself so it doesn't count but that was everything in all three boxes so I'm not I'm happy but I'm kind of I'm a little upset that I didn't get the extreme that peppermint frost because I really wanted it but then I'm kind of happy to have the brain freeze because I don't have this too so it's kind of like a eh so, but this is what I got in my boxes. So I just want to show you and throw this in with my Yulmas. Yeah, you got to get out of the Jeffrey box. She's like, no, save me the shipper. He's got a $14.5 million house. Mia, you got to leave. You're going to the dump. There you go. Good girl. You let me take your box out. That's Rick Chuck's down a Yule log. You eat your cookies? I can't you turn the light on. Ooh. Nice car. Ooh. It's Joe Meek. That's very nice. Thank you. Ah! Snowball! It's a loud bird. What do you want? Hi, baby. He's jealous. He wants to destroy Was that all that was in the box? Yeah. Oh, I thought it came with stuff too. Oh, it's not. so the cat's laying on it. Oh, what's new? You know how to set your paper up using that? Go ahead. I'm sure I can show you if you don't know. I've never used to use it like this before.
Like that, you got pets in? Because we're still present? The paper's not your present. Uh, no. <gasps> What's that, Dot? What is it? What is it? Oh, oh. Hi! You gonna make kisses? <gasps> What's that? I am making lasagna for dinner tonight. So there's the spaghetti sauce, and we have of some Parmesan cheese, some mozzarella, and this is herbs with cream cheese and ricotta. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> so I am going to do. I'll just do one layer and then show you guys what it looks like later. But I'm just pouring the sauce into the pan let's do a thin layer on the bottom there you go that's a lot easier if I zoom out so next I'm going to put some noodles down So there we go, right there. And then I'm going to grab some Parmesan cheese and sprinkle that in there. Like that. And then mozzarella. And these are gluten free noodles, so I don't remember if I said that or not. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to take some of this ricotta and cottage cheese mixture with herbs. There we go. Oh, there we go. And then I'm going to take my little spatula. And I am going to just thin this out. Try to make it as even as I can. like that put that down and then grab 
four more. And then add more sauce. Some more Parmesan. Right there. Don't worry about if there's gaps or gaps in it because we're going to add mozzarella. And I'm going to grab an easier spoon because that was kind of hard. And spread it out again. Need a little bit more. It does not have to be perfect. So let me see how many I have four. So I need four more. Oops, trying to jump in a pan already. There's your four. And now sauce. Probably should have grabbed my tripod for this. It would have been a lot easier. And then I'm going to add the rest of this first and put the other stuff on top of it after. around again. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Usually I have it look a lot better than this, but it's really hard with one hand to make this. <laughs> More Parmesan. More mozzarella, and then more of these. Let's see, I'm going to do six this time because I have enough left over. I'm just going to fill it up. And I have one left, so I'll put that around for another time. And then I'm going to use the last of the spaghetti sauce or marinara sauce just two hands for a second <laughs> so now I'm just spreading this all over it get in a pan just like that and I will eventually add cheese and um uh, parmesan on the top of it but I want to let it cook first for a while before I do that so I'm just going to stick tin foil on the top of this and then bake it for like 45 minutes and then then take the tin foil off put the stuff on the top and bake it for 15 minutes after that and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done and it's done yum 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 dinner time at dinner time. <laughs> Big dogs, present time. 
What's that? Put it on the floor over here. Let them open it. Puppy. Get it, puppy. <gasps> What's in there? <laughs> puppy. Did you get it? Puppy, let me see. Bring it over so we can open it. Here, open it for him. He's trying. <laughs> like, don't give them all of them, but give them some of them. What'd you get? You get a stocking full of t yummies. <laughs> Puppy, you gotta let it go. Puppy. Guys, get it. Don't. Get, 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 get. They're like, we want our Yule present too. We go boys and girls. I just want to breathe. it. They can each have one. There you go. Here, I'm gonna put the stocking away for now. I'm gonna pick up all the garbage. That's it, puppy. You got your treat. Oh, they can have the little sticks too. Puppy likes those. You mean puppy gets a stick? Yeah. Puppy. Yep, that's more like it. Yum yums. Oh, two doggies down and one head out there in the other living room. Are you guys happy? <gasps> Are you happy? I'm like puppy from the stock. Hmm? So this is our Yule log that we need for outside. Just a log. And then each person has a piece of paper that you put on the log and it has three wishes each or three good intentions. You use twine to wrap it all together. You have lavender, mistletoe, and sage. So we're going to, well, the honey is going to get it all ready for us since I'm recording this. And I'll hold. <laughs> and don't worry about the baby crying. She wants to go potty. So we have our fire going outside for this. We just had to wait a while to get some um, ambers really hot. It's not doing it right. I'm not going to have to wrap it a couple times. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm just trying to get it started. So when you twine something, when you use go. twine, you're go. binding it. Go, go. go. <laughs> so that's pretty much what Rick's doing. He's binding. Now he's putting on the sage.
And then Russell Tell would be the hardest one to do. This is some pieces. Mm. Put the whole box on there. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just coming in all over the floor. Oh, that'll work. Huh? Oh, that'll work. And the mistletoe went on too. <laughs> You're stronger than you think. So that is one of our U logs. And we also, while he's wrapping that up, we have the one over our fireplace that we made a couple of days ago, right here. And that is flickering. And there is my shelf right there. Oops, sorry. So we have the old goat, our little gnomes, and then we have the gnome here, and then there's a little goat peeking through. So, and that is my son right here. And then we have our fire going as well, and more little gnomes. So, and then our tree, which you guys haven't really seen yet. We have a goat right there on top of the tree, and there is our yule. Christmas tree with a little witch's broom on this side. And we also have a Star Wars tree. <laughs> so everything on this tree is Star Wars. We are huge Star Wars nuts. And there's the loud, loud bird that you guys hear all the time. And there's the other little bird. So I think he is getting there with the log. And there it is right there. And now he's just going to put... Everybody should put their own washes our in. Notes. Yep, Rick's putting his on. And I will do mine right here. And I don't know where the kid is. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Let me. Oh, I'm not supposed to do it that way. Three times, three times, not four of us. And there's mine. So we will put this out in the fire a little bit. We just gotta wait for the kid to do hers. <gasps> Puppy, we gotta go light the Yule log? <gasps> Is it time to go light the Yule log? Yeah? Is it? You can't go out though. <gasps> you can't go out though. I'm so sorry. You can't. You can't go out. It's not for you. May the log burn, may the wheel turn, may the evil spurn, may the sun return. Now to eat. <laughs>